how far can we see when we look at the horizon? We are going to work it out. On a flat earth, the distance we can reach with our sight is uh, theoretically infinite. It is only limited by our sight, uh, sight power or by the thickness of the atmosphere that blurs the objects in the distance. That means that in a, on, a, on the surface of a flat earth there would be no horizon. But our earth is not a flat one, it is curved. Our earth is more or less a sphere and the curvature of this sphere creates our horizon. That means that we cannot see further than a certain distance d. That distance to the horizon is what we are going to work out. Obviously this distance to the horizon would depend on the relief of the earth. If we have a hill or a mountain in, uh, in the way we, or we have any other objects that hinder our vision that reduces the distance we can, we can reach. But we are going to assume that the surface of the earth is perfectly smooth, it's a perfectly smooth sphere. The ideal situation uh, would be the surface of the sea when there's almost no waves. That would be the closest approach to an ideally smooth surface of the earth. In this case, the distance to the horizon depends only on our height and on the curvature of the earth that is the radius of the earth. Let's say that our height is h and the earth's radius is r, uppercase r. The distance to the horizon would be d and as the line of our sight is tangent to the surface of the earth we can draw a right triangle here where the hypotenuse is r plus h and the legs are r the radius of the earth and d the distance to the horizon so let's apply the Pythagorean theorem to this right triangle. The square of the hypotenuse equals the sum of the squares of the legs. That is r plus h squared equals r squared plus d squared. Now let's expand this term. This is r squared plus 2rh plus h squared. Now, in normal circumstances, h squared is negligible because h, h is a very small amount compared to r. Our height is a very small number compared to the radius of the earth. So h squared is even smaller. We can, we can make it zero. And it's a very close approximation. Now we have r squared on both sides. Cancel those out. And we solve for d. d squared equals 2hr, which means t equals square root of 2hr that is the distance to the horizon equals the square root of twice our height times the radius of the earth 
Let's apply this to an example. Let's say we are on a ship and uh, age, the height, that means taking into account the height of the ship over the, over the surface of the water plus our height could be 10 meters. Let's say 10 meters, that is a quite a normal situation. And the radius of the Earth is more or less 6400 kilometers. That is 6.4 times 10 to the 6th meters. Let's replace this in the formula. That is 1.28 times 10 to the 8th square meters. That's 1.13 times 10 to the 4th meters or 11.3 kilometers. If we are just standing on our feet, then the distance, uh, the height, h, would be about 2 meters or, less, or maybe less than that. And the radius of the Earth is the same. 6.4 times 10 to the 6th meters. We will replace those now. We get, and this gives us 25.6 times 10 to the 6th square meters which is more or less 5 times 10 to the 3rd meters or 5 kilometers so that is more or less the distance we can reach uh, in a perfect uh, in a circumference of the earth when we are standing on our own feet